Hi, uh, my name is Karol Kioski. I'm from General Bytes. Uh, today is uh, July uh, 2017 and I just checked and the first video on BATM2 unboxing I made uh, three years ago and since then uh, lots of things changed and uh, I believe a new video has to be done because it's not in sync with the reality we improved a uh, lot of things so uh, so let's uh let's have this video this vid video will not cover the BATM2 mounting on the wall because that I think is still sufficiently explained in the old unboxing video this video will also not uh, cover the mounting of the BATM2 on stand because that we have covered with also another video but uh, this video will cover what is in the box and uh, how to put it together, how to put the machine online uh, and uh, what the process is. So welcome. Okay, so step number one is uh, to receive the machine via UPS. Uh, we send the machines via UPS because so we can give you the tracking number and they lose package only once per 200 machines, so more or less. So first, when you receive the machine, it has this plastic uh, plastic cover to protect uh, the paper box from the rain. Uh, first check if there is no damage on the side. If there is some damage, uh, make a photo of the box because maybe the machine will be uh, damaged inside, but uh, with this new box design, it basically doesn't happen. Also check the serial number of the machine, if that's the machine which you ordered. Uh, we never shipped uh, so far in 500 machines, we never shipped a different uh, serial number to somewhere to somebody else. But uh, better to check if you are buying more machines, uh, check actually which one you are getting. Keep this uh, box for your... Uh, Put it somewhere because if you will be if you want to move the machine from one location to another it's always better to ship it in the box so it doesn't doesn't get any scratches so okay so let's let's open the box uh. Let me see if, uh, if it's visible in the on, on the video. Uh, yeah, more or less. So this is the paper protection layer. So first thing which you have to make sure is uh, to find the keys from the machine. So you don't make sure that if the if you have somebody else opening the box for you please remind him that he should uh, collect the keys from the machine before he th he is uh, throwing out uh, the uh, the paper stuff into garbage or the plastic okay so let's take it out from the box uh, i don't know if this is recommended procedure but with the camera I have limited space. Let's take it out. Okay, let's put this out. Uh, first out of the plastic. I think now 
now it's the time where when people are skipping the video. Okay, so in this, uh, you can see that there there is this uh, box with the keys. Inside, this is the box which we are looking for. You can find the keys there. In future, the keys uh, will be also col with colored resolution. Okay, so usually these boxes you will find somewhere inside here. Let's continue with the opening. So here is the mounting wall mounting template. Um, here is the video which describes how to mount it on the wall. And uh, here are the instructions. Uh, make sure that uh, this, uh, this is fine. So this is uh, this is the operation manual. This is something which is we are required by law to send with the every electronic device. So you can find here safety instructions and how to power on and power off the device. With newer machines, we send it in the smaller version. Uh, but also now we include also quick start. Make sure that you read this. It describes the same things as I do describe now in the video, but please read it anyway. It also describes how to how to do unboxing, how to place in the core board. Uh, I don't know, this is uh, another tutorial. Anyway, uh, let's continue on. Uh, this is protected sheet, protective sheet. Boom. Okay, so this is how the machine is covered. Uh, US version has this uh, banknote uh, sign different. You have a dollar sign here. So you get uh, four keys, two from the from this lock and two from the lock uh, inside. So let's open the machine also what i wanted to mention is that uh, sometimes customers they are having difficulties to open the the machine uh, because sometimes when we ship it by by road it's uh, there is lots of vibrations so sometimes the door it's to open the doors it's really hard so you insert the key here and and uh, you open it if you have if you are having hard time you can put the machine on the back and uh, it's easier to open it when it's like this. But let's, let's put it like this and let's open it. Okay, so let me explain what is, uh, what is inside. Inside uh, we have a inner door so the second pair of the keys uh, go here goes goes uh, here okay you, you can open the door here you have uh, a power cable for us and europe uh, we have we ship with different cables uh, the newer machines don't have that but this one does uh, in this machine we ship the computer here in this the brain of, of the machine and you have to manually connect it here I'll include the video on how to do that but it's uh, transport here but uh, the customers from uh, I don't know September uh, from September on uh, they will not have to do the mounting it will be already mounted here just for the safety we were trying to ship it separately but uh, there is no uh, no obstacle now to ship it to mount it already. So let's let's uh, take out the door. Okay. So it seems not to be easy. First, I'll try first. Uh, take out the take out the cash box. Uh, seems to be seems to be easier. Okay, so, and now I can open the door. Okay, so here we ship uh, the cash box separately. Uh, let's uh, 
Let's open that. Uh, people ask me what is this. Uh, these are the hooks. Uh, if you if you buy a later in the future, if you buy the locks for the cash box, uh, you will need those. Okay, so this is the cash box. This is where the money goes. Here is the place for the locks. I can show you how you open the open the cash box. Uh, simply, you put the uh, finger in and you bring it up uh, people don't like this uh, so that's why in the latest versions uh, in uh, uh, it's already shipped in July uh, so so here we have a special plastic lock which uh, protects opening the cash box so this is where the money goes so you put it inside you take out the door you insert the box inside make sure that that you put it there uh, you put it there properly and don't don't be afraid to use the force okay. and we can close the door uh, since uh, I have the machine open I can demonstrate uh, how you you don't need it now, but maybe in the future, you, if you want to take out the head and clean it with some textile, don't use the the window cleaner or something like, like that. You can oh, you can take out this head like this. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so this is how you take out the head, and uh, to open it, to open it. <coughs> Okay, this is how you open it. Okay, good. So this is this you can clean it with the textile, but uh, maybe once a year, maybe once uh, two years, uh, this things uh, work without the any 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 actual cleaning inside. If you, if you don't have problems with the uh, with the reading the banknotes, you don't have to clean that. Anyway, so let's continue on. Uh, okay, here I can show it. So this is the camera. This is the computer, the actual computer with the motherboard. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, this is the power supply for the computer. This is the power su supply for the bell acceptor. So that's, uh, that's the main thing before we uh, before we uh, before we continue, we have to put uh, in uh, the computer brain. Uh, probably you you will receive the machine which already has this computer brain inside. But since I do didn't get such machine, I'll have to I'll have to show you how to get that do that. So I carefully open the package. So this is the brain, the software is already loaded on this. I'll put it in, uh, I remember that there is a separate video covering this, it's, uh, it's not a big deal, it's okay, so it's plugged in, I will also connect the Wi-Fi, let me do that, yeah, I, I, I use my nail to, to get it there properly, okay, so it's there, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, probably I did. This is the ambient light. Uh, if you are scanning the here on the scanner on the camera, if you are scanning the paper wallet, uh, here is the additional light for for scanning that. Here is the fingerprint reader. Uh, this is where the where the fingerprint reader is connected, and this is where the camera is connected. Okay, so let's uh, power on the machine. I was wrong. Uh, we are not ready to power on the machine uh, because uh, I forgot to mention some of the things uh, which I feel uh, that are important. So first of all, the tools of, for mounting uh, mounting the the machine to the wall are here. Uh, it includes the uh, 
the screw, so the I don't know how it's called. Let me see the mounting. Uh, uh, mount. So this this tool is included in this one, and uh, yeah, screws, anchors, everything is in here. Uh, also, customers ask me the Ethernet connection. How do they connect the Ethernet? So, uh, the machine you can connect via Ethernet uh, or via Wi Fi. For the Ethernet, here is the Ethernet port. And, and here is how you get it uh, into the machine. There is a small plate. Uh, you take it out, you put, uh, put the cable through, through the back, through the hole. Uh, then you then you make a small knot on the on the cable so for example like this uh, like this uh, so this goes through the cable you make a knot because when somebody will be pulling the cable out from the machine so there will, uh, you protect uh, the motherboard from the pressure uh, and then later on you put that uh, metal plate back in but you you rotate it in 90 degrees uh, uh, i recommend for the locations to use the ethernet of course but uh, wi-fi works well too but make sure that uh, you have a good wi-fi signal because uh, the wi-fi actually antenna is behind this logo so it's better to have the wi-fi wi-fi uh, router uh, in front of the machine or uh, I can recommend also the the Wi-Fi extender uh, so you can plug something into to the power socket and it extends the range of the existing Wi-Fi network so the machine can uh, catch the signal easily some of the customers what they do is also that they put inside of the machine or I do it actually on the exhibitions I put the Android phone into the machine I switch on the 4G I switch on the uh, hotspot, the Wi-Fi hotspot, and I close that in the machine. I connect it to the one of the free USB ports, and that charges the phone. Machine connects to the Wi-Fi of the computer. I can close it. So that's uh, for places where you don't have uh, the Wi-Fi connections and you want to use the 4G. Also, customers ask me about the fake banknotes. Uh, does this machine recognize the fake banknotes? Uh, of course, this bill acceptor uh, recognizes the fake banknotes. That's the uh, that's the feature number one of, of every bill acceptor. But this one is really high end. Uh, it's used in uh, in casinos around the world. So so I'm hundred percent sure it doesn't take, uh, or you can be hundred percent sure too. It doesn't take any fake banknote whatsoever in any currency even if you use uh, some weird african currencies it really recognizes the fake banknotes uh, back plates uh, here on the back you see the holes here in here let me yeah you see them so here are two and one is here uh, that's uh, for the wall mounting if you don't mount the uh, the machine on the wall uh, there are also also package with the machine or with the stand uh, the plates the cover plates which you can mount here and here the the cover plates for uh, for the holes which are pre-drilled for the BATM2 stand which we saw separately are uh, right now it's covered but you can also unmount them uh, easily so I think uh, uh, one thing uh, I wanted to mention is uh, bring the machine first home, play with it, make it work, uh, experience the features, try to play with the configuration, see what the effect it has on the machine, make your first uh, successful trans Bitcoin transactions at home and then later on bring the machine to the location. It's uh, it's much better than if you get it shipped to the location and you try to make it work there because uh, it's a hostile environment. People come to you often and they ask you, is it working now? 
no, it's not working. Okay, and is it working now? And uh, the and you really get nervous there, and you get uh, no work done. Okay, so uh, so let's so let's power on the machine. Uh, we close it, and uh, I already plugged in the power cable uh, here on the back. Uh, if you power on the uh, maybe I'll leave it open. If you power on the machine like I do now, you should see here uh, some colored lights on the bell acceptor. If you, nothing happens here, it's you probably have uh, switched off the power switch on the back. So check it again, and uh, it should uh, it should power on. The computer, as you see, it didn't sw switch on. That's because it has also separate uh, power switch next to the power cable here. So I'll switch it on. You can see the light coming on here. Uh, let's uh, close it. And let's wait. Uh, also, also, I want to mention that uh, in support, uh, sometimes we will ask you what is the serial number of the machine and you will not know. So first of all, it's written in your contract, it's written on the paper box, and also, but also it's written on the machine here on the side. So you will see there something like BT100, I don't know, 880. When machine uh, starts, uh, it displays this error, error out of order error no internet so that is uh, that means two things actually that can mean two things one is that you started the machine but machine uh, doesn't see the server right so there are two reasons one is okay so maybe you didn't connect the machine to the internet uh, but if you connect the machine to the internet it might still display this error and that might that uh, probably means uh, that you didn't uh, set up the IP address of your server on the machine or you set up the invalid IP address of uh, of your server or uh, you want or you are trying to connect to general by central server uh, which we provide as a default option which is configured now when when you receive the machine but uh, you have to contact us first so we enlist you on our server so when you see this uh, this error and you went so far, um, you are sure that uh, you can you are sure that the machine is working. It's not there. Uh, there is no damage on the machine itself. So now please uh, write us email at uh, sales at generalbytes.com. Mention there uh, your name, your seller serial number, and write us that you want us to send you the administration QR code, you want us to send you the installation manual, license key and further instructions. Uh, also I want to mention that uh, two things. One is that uh, the software, the machine, uh, because the time between the machine is manufactured and you receive it, uh, it might be longer, so the machine might come with the older firmware. So make sure that when you get the machine connected to the server, the first thing which you do is actually upgrading the terminal remotely from the server. It's easy to do, there will be manual, video manual how to do that, or video how to do that. So do that, uh, upgrade the software first before uh, before you get stuck in some errors, it's better to, to get it upgraded. Okay, so that's first thing. Uh, second thing is... Uh, for the ATM, the, the, our design is that uh, you have multiple ATMs and they talk to one server and server talks to the Bitcoin wallet or talks to the Bitcoin exchange. Uh, you can configure that on the server, you can configure that later. But uh, you have to configure some, you have to connect machine to some server. So for customers to start quickly, we offer the service that we we uh, run the server for them, we operate the, the server, we back it up for them, we, uh, and we upgrade it for themselves. So if, so if, and also we do that free of charge, uh, we do that for uh, first uh, 30 days when you, from the time when you receive the machine, and, or you ask us to enlist you on the server, and from uh, later on we charge you 0.5% of all cash inserted. 
uh, that uh, that we charge you every month uh, with an invoice uh, which is payable by Bitcoin and we use those Bitcoins to to cover the free support which you get. Uh, free support means uh, that uh, you can send us email, we answer you the email, we help you with the machine uh, on the email, on the Skype, on the phone. Uh, also what I want to mention is that you can install your own server uh, when you buy the machine uh, and you tell us that uh, that you receive the machine we send you the license key you use that license key to install the server uh, and you can run it on your own and if you run it on your own you don't pay us anything uh, no service fee uh, you can you can try it on yourself you can run on our server then you can connect the machine to your server and if you decide later on to connect to our server it's not a big deal okay so let's uh, let's contact the sales uh, and uh, let's receive the email with the with the instructions. So we were lucky, and uh, General Byte sales team uh, sent us the administration key QR code and also the license key, and they enlisted that on enlisted us on uh, General Byte server, uh, so we can use it for the beginning. So let's uh, let's set up uh, the internet connection first. If you are uh, if you are connecting the machine uh, via Ethernet, you can just plug in the cab Ethernet cable and you are connected to the internet right away. You just have to have the DHCP working, which which is nowadays standard. With the Wi-Fi, you have to enter the administration and set up the Wi-Fi network. Uh, let's do that now. So I'll click on the icon, this activates the camera, the QR code camera. Uh, I took a photo of the administration QR code which General Bice sent me. Uh, I recommend you to do that too and keep it in, uh, in your phone in some kind of album for example. That uh, helps you to have uh, the administration key always with you. I'll scan it now. Okay, I, I just entered the administration. Here I have a couple of the options, so uh, we will not uh, investigate them right now. Here you have uh, the, the software version. Here we see the serial number which matches the, the one on the back. And let's uh, turn on the Wi-Fi. So let's choose the network. Let's put in the password, that was quick. Uh, we The software is based on the Android operation system, so the UI is very similar on uh, how you configure your Android phone. Okay, so now when I click on next, uh, I see that I'm now connected, I see the IP address here, and uh, I can click on exit. Here I see also the version of the Bell Acceptor firmware that's not so important now. So let's click on exit and uh, we are connected to the server. Congratulations. So here you have multiple languages uh, and here you can check uh, wallet balance and here buy bitcoins. This is uh, the default configuration. We will get to that later. Uh, we will play with that on the server with the configuration. But this is uh, how, how it starts. How do you enter the administration now? Uh, when there is no error, you have to click on buy bitcoins. And now it asks you to scan the administration, uh, actually the Bitcoin address, but instead of scanning the Bitcoin address, we will, okay, again, you will have to scan the administration key and uh, boom, we are there. Okay, so next uh, thing which I wanted to mention is that there are two types of the administration menus. This one is uh, uh, the default one or the basic one where there are no, uh, no security sensitive, uh, security sensitive information. So there is also second menu which contains the uh, security sensitive information. So let's, I'll show you how to get into that menu. You have to open, you have to have the ATM running. Uh, you open the door, 
We take out the cash box. Uh, uh. We can just pull it uh, just a little bit. And you see the error uh, stacker out. I'll click on the icon again. Let's, uh, okay, I'll scan the, the very same administration code again. And you can see that I have uh, very few options here. Uh, I can clear the counters, which is uh, like uh, clear uh, when you are taking out the cash box. You want to clear the numbers so you so so the server server knows that you really remove the cache from the cache box and also you can change uh, server ip address here uh, why it's so complicated to enter this menu is because by taking out the cache box you are proving that uh, you are not just a smart user making fun but you also have the keys from the uh, from the machine And you have a physical access to the inner inner of the machine. Okay, so so I showed you both of the menus. Uh, I showed you how you enter the menu when there is no error. Uh, let's uh, let's see how how it looks when we try to buy bitcoins. So let's try to buy bitcoins. Uh, let's. Uh, Scan some address. Bitcoin. Okay, so I have a Bitcoin wallet here. I have zero Bitcoins there now. Uh, let's uh, scan the address. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. So, so as you can see now, we can insert the cache. Let me find some cash I'm not prepared. Okay, let's say 100. Okay, so it's inserted. It shows uh, how much Bitcoin I'm gonna get. I'll click on buy Bitcoins. And voila, I have my first successful Bitcoin transaction. Uh, but the so it it looks easy, but um, the the truth is that no bitcoins were sent because uh, this is a demo configuration when uh, when you are when you are newly set up on a server it's a demo wallet so it it goes goes uh, through all of the processes but uh, it doesn't send bitcoins because you have to uh, configure your bitcoin wallet on server or the Bitcoin exchange. So thank you for watching and uh, uh, let's, uh, let's continue with the video on how to configure uh, the server, how to configure the Bitcoin wallet, how to configure the exchange. First I think we will do the easiest way which is uh, configure the Bitcoin wallet. Uh, I will explain also some of the settings uh, on the server. Uh, some some tricks uh, tips and uh, Okay, so thank you for watching